Hey guys, LP here, and uh, so if you didn't know, I'm actually spending more time at the old homestead during this winter time, so uh, one of the things that I had to do is I had to, um, I, I wanted to expand my in the kitchen pantry, so I had to move one of the shelves uh, into the actual kitchen area. I'll show a picture of you in a second, uh, but um, this became uh, quite, a, quite a journey, and I'm going to tell you why right now. Okay, so this, here's... Here's the shelf that I moved. Here's the nice shelf that I, that I moved. And these were all the, don't worry about that. You don't worry about that, little guy. Uh, these are all the canned goods that were on the shelf. Now, I'm not gonna make you watch me like separate them by date, but I can tell you right now that um, some of these are pretty old. And when we're done, we're actually going to be uh, cooking some of them just to see what the inside of the cans looks like because I think I have some from 2014 in here that I've got to do something about. In fact, I had it, I had several boxes that, that were brand new that uh, the, uh, the box, the cans just bursted open. Now, one of the things that I do is I actually use cardboard instead of wood on these shelves because I don't like the way cans like fall they'll fall down because they're like trying to lean and stuff. So I put some cardboard on here and I don't use wood because if one of the cans, one of the older cans breaks like it, like several of them did, uh, it will ruin, it'll just be into the wood and now you can't get the smell out and all that stuff. Uh, I mean, no matter how much you clean it, whatever you do to it, but cardboard is replaceable. So I just keep cardboard. Now I've still got to get two more, so we're gonna go ahead and cut those now. All right, guys. So I've got you out here on the uh, on the porch. Let me get that situated so that it you can see it. There we go. There we go. And then what I will do is I just use um, this is a really bad cutout, but it'll give me a basic idea. I just use the original one as a template. That way, I don't even have to measure anything. So we're going to do that now. So with this cardboard, it's not necessarily that important that it be cut perfectly. Yes, you could measure it and bring your protractor in and get perfect angles and, and do all these different little things. And that's not a problem. But the reality is, is it's just cardboard. Now, if you want something more aesthetically pleasing, yes, please do measure every inch of this. But as you can see, I'm just going to grab my Sharpie and my razor knife and I'm going to cut the basic shapes. And then once I see whether it fits or not, I'll adjust it on the rack. So enjoy the show for another three or four seconds and watch me mangle this cardboard. Alright. And there we go. Three pieces of cardboard ready to go. Cha cha cha. Okay, so the new pieces are cut, ready to go. And then you know you just generally just stick them right inside here and Turn them down, that one fit perfectly, so that tells me that my other one's really messed up. But we're gonna try and see how bad it is. And, uh, kinda go from there. It's just, uh, it's a little too long and the, the corner's not cut right, right here. template the original because it's going to take the most beating it's going to be down low so we'll put that on the very bottom all right all right she's ugly but she's going to work guys and now i don't have to worry about wood being stained or or stinking because i can't explode it on it or something like that so the next thing is to start putting our cans so I tell you guys about doing this and documenting things all the time. This is actually the one from the shelf. It was up in the sun. As you can see, it's not very straight anymore. But yeah, just uh, I knew exactly what was on the cabinet. And uh, basically, this is what's here. And then you remove, replace something, a log, something like that. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll hang it up. I got a new clipboard I'm going to put up. All right, so first things first, I guess it's really all about weight is what it comes down to. This shelf is rated for 300 pounds. But uh, there's really no telling how far we're going to go with it today. See, I've got 
I'm gonna have to move the camera back a hair so you guys can see it all. There you go. That top one's just for lightweight stuff. All right, so let's put, uh, I guess that's a good spot right there. And then we'll move the camera as need be. But right now, what the big thing is, is the canned goods themselves. And this is gonna, t this is gonna show me, once I get the shelf fully uh, stocked, this is gonna show me how much more I can put on per area. And I like to stay kind of organized. So we're gonna go ahead and, you know what, let's move this one more time. I think we're gonna move it there because we literally got stuff all over the place here. I think we're gonna do it something like this. All right, and then, now, what I've already done is I've already stacked it from, what was this? Um, this is 2018, this is, what do we got here? Best Buy 2015, 2015. So, I've already stacked it that way, that way when I put it on the shelf, I've got the oldest stuff up front. So we're just gonna start putting stuff on, and right now we're gonna start with the sweet peas. As you can see, what I've already done is pre-sorted these, and I'm literally putting the ones that have the longest shelf life right now uh, in the back, and so that the it's the youngest, or it's the oldest cans that will end up in the front of the piles. Here we go. These cans that you see me setting to the side are actually the cans that I'm gonna take out and we're gonna cook or do a taste test or just visually inspect. So first things first, guys, the smell test. We're gonna start with um, these green beans and uh, we're gonna put these all in different containers and heat them up and do taste tests on them here in a second, but let's get everything open. We're gonna start with the green beans. That's right, I got a fancy can opener. Move that out of the way. And uh, we're gonna see how well it works on this really dented up can. This can, I can't even tell you, it just says October on it. It did kind of hiss when I opened it, so I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, it looks good. It smells good. It doesn't have anything in it, so these are no less than 2015. This is no less than 2015 corn. So, kind of happy with that. And uh, touching the top of the can, it's just, it's just wet. It's not all sticky or gooey or anything. But this can had to be open because, the, uh, like I said, the can was starting to rust out. All right, we're gonna move that one out of the way. We're gonna move it over here. And obviously we're gonna do this in the sink in case there's some kind of really bad mess. Turkey gravy, turkey gravy from Best Buy 2014, guys, 2014. So let's find out, let's find out how bad this is. Ugh, come on now. All right, no popping, nothing like hissed or anything at me. All right, so, um, doesn't look good guys. 2014 gravy, does not look good, but we're gonna, we're gonna push past this. We're gonna put it in a container so we can actually see what's in it. And the lag is me getting ready at the top of the cans. Okay, sweet peas from, um, I wanna say this is 2015, but it's really difficult to figure out by the code. If you guys can decipher that code, the more the, more the merrier. I mean, it's, I see a 15 on there, but it doesn't mean anything. So we're gonna bought these, I'm gonna pop these open. This can is pretty beat up too. I think I see it, that there's rust on the bottom of it as, as well. Uh, there's, a, there's a few floaties in that one. Yeah, see, look at this. So these peas are likely not good. See this? See that? Oh, that's, that's nasty. I'm not even gonna, ugh. let's see. They honestly don't smell bad, but, but with this on the inside of the can, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take any chances. I would throw those guys out and that's what's gonna happen. So we'll just set those over there so that we know that we're throwing those out. Just in case I got some kind of crazy contaminant on my hands. Let's wash everything out. All right, let's move on to the next one. Cut green beans, cut green beans. See the can's really rusted. And this is from uh, Best Buy, what does that say? 
August 15th, 2017, Best Buy. So let's go and open up these. The green vegetables, the corn almost always stays, but the green vegetables are, are hit and miss. Come on now. Why are you being such a turd? Fancy can opener. There's a little popping sound, okay. Okay, looking at the top of the can. I don't see anything in there, it's just moist. Smell test, smells fine. Let's get rid of the top of this can. Come on you, I can't believe I just did that. Gotta love it, man. Then we've got some tuna, some tuna packed in white tuna, packed in water, oh it's so light. And this is um, 2018, 2018. This should be no problems. We were eating some 2017 tuna for lunch yesterday. I'll just, this tuna right here, I'm just going to, um, after I open it up, it'll probably just get drained and, and turned into tuna, some kind of tuna salad uh, for lunch tomorrow. All right. The only problem with, <clears throat> the only problem with this kind of can opener that opens on the side is that, uh, you can't, you have to like, now I have to drain this tuna some other way. I can't squash it because the can won't let, you, won't let you squash it. All right, come on, give me the top of the can. There we go. All right, so I'm not seeing anything crazy on the top of it. Looking inside of it. Can you see inside? There you go. Gonna... Smells fine. Okay, we're good there. I think that's definitely extremely edible. And, uh, clean the sink out here. Got some tuna juice in it. All right, so let's pour these in containers and see what they look like. I'm gonna start with the corn. I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of Tupperware, juice and all. Just kind of inspect it, see what it looks like. I mean, it really doesn't look bad at all. Oh yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing wrong with this corn, guys. And this corn was, uh, I think, 2015. 2015. Set that to the side. Let's do the green beans. Oop, there we go. Juice and all. I don't see. I don't see any issues with this. With these. With these green beans. And this was from the rusted can, 2017, guys. 2017. All right. We'll get those out of the way. Uh, the tuna, I'm not even going to worry about. I'm not even going to worry about it. It's in water. It's going to be just fine. The tuna looks like it has maintained its shape. Maybe I'll throw it in a coffee filter real quick and you guys can watch it drain or something. Just let that set in the sink. All right. Nope, nothing. All right, now for the gravy, which I think is a fail. Is a fail. Um, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Guys, gravy doesn't smell good. That top piece, that that solid piece of gelatinous stuff. Maybe I'd scrape it out of there. Maybe I wouldn't. I mean, it doesn't. The gravy itself does not have a bad smell at all, but that doesn't mean it's not bad. I don't know that I would trust that gravy because I've seen a lot worse, but it is what it is. I'm probably just gonna, I would probably just throw that gravy out. And then uh, there's the tuna. Let me get a fork. So we can get a good hard look at the tuna. What I did was I drained it. I'm draining it, should I say, in a coffee filter. And then we'll kind of fork it real quick and see if it's even flaky anymore. Just to see if it, if it kept its shape. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty. Yep, there you go, look. Oh, there you go. Bad camera stuff on my part, sorry. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this tuna, guys. Don't go away, I'm eating you for lunch tomorrow. All right, and then a quick reset. Um, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do the green beans. And then we're going to do the corn. 
And obviously, you guys aren't going to wait for me to heat these up. So uh, give me a second. I'll do some YouTube magic, and uh, I'll get back with you in a minute. All right, let's take that off. It's just a little too hot for even the corn. There's just so much in there. Corn cooks differently, obviously. These are the green beans. And if you don't know the three steps to making sure you don't die with old canned goods, I'm going to teach them to you in a second. I'm just going to let those boil for a while. And obviously, we, would, we might want to cook these slowly. And it's still way too much heat for corn. Let's turn that down to a five, maybe. This is fine right here. If you've ever cooked on one of these ovens, you know the heat just doesn't go away. Try it again. There she goes. There she goes. And uh, you know, we're also talking like no butter, no salt, no nothing on these right now. Because um, we wouldn't want to waste. I mean, a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt. It's not really a waste, but uh, if you got all the way to that point, uh, where you're trying to spice it before tasting it, then uh, you've, you've made a mistake. You've made a mistake because you want to taste it before you do any of that. Otherwise, you could be masking the taste uh, of, of something that's not, if it doesn't taste good, <laughs> you could be masking that. Okay, so we're going to go and break away real quick here and let these cook for a little bit, and I'll get right back with you. While we're letting those vegetables cook, we forgot about this guy right here. This guy is from Best Buy 2015. I have no idea what's going to happen. This is smoked sausages. Open that up. There you go. And, uh, I mean, they, they don't look like they're falling apart. They don't smell bad. Let's see if we can get one to come out of the, the old-fashioned way. Nope. All right, oh, there we go. Smoked sausage. I don't smell, I hate to say it, but I don't smell anything bad in here, so. I mean, they don't taste very good, but I think I bought them on a whim and uh, just have them so if I don't make another video after this you'll know why so I finished the cook down and we're gonna put some green beans in there so you can see them we're gonna give those a taste we're gonna get some corn Okay, I'm gonna let those cool just a little bit. And no bad smells came off this food while I was cooking it. So, I think we're okay. All right, so they're gonna be a little hot. Oh, there we go. Green beans, you can see there's nothing wrong with them. I haven't put any spices or anything in them. Yep, those are green beans. They don't even taste like a can. Oh, wait. They have an odd aftertaste. They have an odd aftertaste. Comes the corn. It's really hot. Got to blow on it. Hmm. Let's go. It's sweet. And it's crunchy. Nothing wrong with that corn. So maybe just old food with the green beans. The corn, spot on, no problems. Okay guys, so the big thing is not necessarily the, the, um, the best buy date. Obviously we want to pay attention to it. We need to keep that. Obviously we want to put that, our oldest stuff to the back of our rotation. But the three things that you need to remember are actually pretty simple. Um, you know, basically that best buy date. Uh, and then opening the can, is the can been damaged? Is it rusted? Uh, and then the smell test. If it doesn't pass the smell test, just throw it out. Don't take any chances. 
open the can up, look inside there. I always check the lid. I showed you how to do that. And, um, you know, if there's some funky film on the top of that can or it just doesn't look right inside, then don't eat it. Just don't eat it. And uh, lastly, do what the Amish did. With their Rebel canning, everything they did. After they took it out of those jars or cans, well, <laughs> they, they cooked the crap out of it. So do the same thing. At least you'll have a chance of not dying of diarrhea. Okay, guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, as usual, hit the thumbs up on the way out the the, uh, uh, the way out of the video on the way out. Uh, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. If you are you already a subscriber, check your bell. YouTube's been check, turning them off. Until the next time, stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye bye.